Hey, what up, guys? Uh, I wanted to uh, talk about how drinking too much water can actually uh, negatively affect your sleep. Sounds a little bit weird, right? What's the relationship between uh, drinking a lot of water and sleep? It seems a little bit counterintuitive. Uh, everyone knows the uh, health benefits of water. I drink plenty of water. It's good for your skin. It can uh, help you indirectly lose weight. Anyways, the reason why I bring this up is um, when you drink a lot of water, and I drink like over a gallon a day, you want to make sure to cut off or taper down your water intake at least a few hours before you go to bed. And um, this is a problem that I tend to, I don't really go by the rules. I, I should, but it's just, there's only so many hours in the day. Uh, for instance, if you go to bed at around 10 p.m., more than likely, based on my experience, you probably want to cut off the water intake about at least an hour and a half before, if not more if possible, two hours if you can. And the reason is that, for me at least, based on my personal experience, is that when you uh, drink too much water uh, before you go to bed and it's like an hour or less, what happens is in the middle of the night you end up having to go pee um, you have to go to the bathroom and when that occurs it disrupts your uh, sleep cycle and even though you go to the restroom and you go back to bed a lot of times you may wake up a little bit groggy so even though technically you may have gotten your eight hours of sleep you got interrupted during that really 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 critical portion of your sleep and when that occurs the quality of your sleep actually declines. And uh, this happened to me uh, yesterday and it's kind of a pain in the butt because I got through my workout today but I was feeling a little bit tired and that's because of a uh, lack of sleep. Now I totally understand that people have tons of responsibilities and sometimes it's gonna happen. You're so bu you're extremely busy and some people don't even get like, uh, like eight hours of sleep, some people get less. But if you wanna just improve your quality of sleep cut down on the water intake, kind of monitor it. And some people are different. Uh, experiment a little bit, but definitely uh, drink a lot of water. You don't want to dehydrate yourself. The other thing that you could do is try to drink more water uh, throughout the day. By doing that, you'll reach your um, daily intake like two hours before going to sleep. And then you won't feel cotton mouth, you won't feel dehydrated, and then you can go to bed and you may still have to wake up to pee even if you cut off the water and take a couple hours before. But what I found out was that the longer you go uh, without disrupted sleep and then you have to pee, let's say if it goes like seven hours, then when you fall back asleep for another hour, you don't feel as negatively affected. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, that's my time for this video. Um, I'm going to hit the showers. I got some other things to do. Appreciate all the support and uh, more content coming and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.